Hi, it's Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this effect here that allows you to use these neat little tabs to cycle between visuals on the same page. So this really helps to save on real estate and gives it a nice little interactive feeling as well. Okay, so before I get started, just quickly, if you're finding this for the first time and you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then do hit the subscribe button and press the little bell and you'll get a notification when I release a video, which is more or less every week. So the little tab feature that I showed in the intro there, how do we create it? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this slightly smaller and make a bit of space here to put the tabs along the top. Then I am going to go in and add in through insert buttons, navigator, this bookmark navigator option. So this bookmark navigator option is basically going to add on or include a bookmark, or an option for every bookmark that you've added. Now we've got four bookmarks that were set up as part of this piece of work I did to show how to create this collapsible side navigation menu. Now, if you want to understand how we did that, then check the links below. But basically, we can see each one of these are the bookmarks that we set up here. Okay, so they, are, they correspond to these bookmarks here. So what we want to do is we want to add additional bookmarks, and each of the bookmarks is going to be for displaying a different visual in this section here. So we've got one here, which is backlog by department. Now, I've also created, if we can see here, they're hidden at the moment. But I've also, if I hide this, I've created a backlog condition for work bar chart and I've created a what else have I created here and I've created a backlog by department bar chart. Okay so just three visuals that I'm going to use for the example here. So we've got all of these and what I'm going to start to do now is show and hide these visuals and then add in bookmarks for each one of those circumstances where it's shown and hidden. So the first thing we want to do is create one for the department matrix. So I'm going to hide these two and then I'm going to select each, I'm going to select all three of these and I'm going to go and add a new bookmark here. Okay now I'm going to go in here and I want to unselect this data option because I want this ta these tabs to work and flick between these regardless of what data has been selected. Now if I leave that data option on the current, the bookmark when I, when I update it is going to select the current filters that are on here, which are basically none. There's no filters on here at all. So every time I press that bookmark, it's going to revert to this effect, essentially wiping all the filters free. Now, I don't want that. I want it to be, if we've added a couple of filters and you flick between these tabs, I want the filters to be um, to be present. I want the filters to be re retained. So I'm going to take this off. Now, the other thing I want is I only want it to to um, apply to these selected visuals here. So I'm going to select this button here and it's only going to apply to these visuals here. So that is the first thing I'm going to do. Um, now I seem to have lost that tab here but I'm going to, I'll put it back in again, it's fine. And then we'll just rename this and this is going to be, it's not going to be matrix. Hold on, we've got two shown. Let's go back and we'll make sure that it's just this condition for work that's shown. The reason we couldn't see the other one was because it's behind here. So let's just update that and we'll call this one show condition for work bar chart and then I'm going to go and hide this one and I'm going to show this one. I'm going to add another bookmark here. Uh, yep, that's fine. Just make sure we've got the three of them selected again. Go in here uncheck the data, select all visuals and update. And then finally, I'm going to show unhide here and I'm going to hide that one. And this is going to be for the, the matrix. So let's add another bookmark. Okay, show backlog matrix. And same features again, selected visuals. Just make sure we've got the three selected. And let's update that. Okay, so now if I click on here, you can see that they're moving about. Okay, now it's slightly off here, so I just need to make sure that I have got they're all aligned. 
Okay, it looks a lot better now. It's fine. So we've got a bookmark which will show and hide each of those visuals here. So let's go and insert this um, this button here. So it's Navigator and it's Page Navigator. And then we'll pull that down. And then we're going to go and we need some mechanism for getting rid of or only showing the bookmarks that we're interested in. So if we go in here and go to this options here, we can see it's currently set at all bookmarks. Okay, it's shown every bookmark. Now, what I can do is I can select a group of bookmarks to be shown in this particular visual. So to do that, I am going to go and I'm going to select each one of these bookmarks here, go in here and group them together. And I'm going to call this one um, Batlog. Batlog tabs. Okay, it doesn't really make much difference. And then I go in here. In fact, I might need to open and close this. Um, in fact, I might need to open and close this just to let it refresh. Let's see. There we go. Backlog tabs. Okay, and now we can see it is only showing the backlog tabs. Now, if I click on each one of these, we can see that's showing the matrix. That's showing the backlog by department, and that's showing the backlog by condition for work. Now, the other thing that's great here is if we move the order of these, we can see it moves here as well. So the matrix is the one we want to see here. First of all, show, backlog matrix, show, backlog condition for work, etc, etc. Now, I probably want to rename that. So let's go in and we'll rename these. Okay, so now we can see the, the, the descriptions are slightly better here. Right, the next thing I want to do is I want it to be... I want this to be a little bit neater. So at the moment, the colours aren't quite right and there's um, there's a border and stuff. So let's go and just quickly format that. So I'll highlight this. The shape, I want this to be a shape which is snipped at the top left-hand side. So, or sorry, snipped at the top right-hand side. It just gives it that little tabbed look. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the actual colour here. So let's go and go to style. And we've got options here for default, hover, press or selected. So for the selected one, I want it to be white. I want it, Well, I want the background to be white. So the text is going to be this, uh, this grey colour. And the fill is going to be white. Okay, so the reason for that is I want it to blend in. Now, we also want the border to be off. Style. Border. Okay, I want that to be off. And the reason for that is because I want it just to really blend in. So I'll just make it slightly smaller. Okay, so that there's, there's a... There's a and it's obvious which one's selected. So with that, I need to go and change these ones that are not selected. So let's go into, again, style. And we've got default. And for those, I'm going to make the font color white. And I'm going to make the, the fill, rather than being white, be like a gray color. There we go, or maybe a bit darker now. There. Okay, and then for the hover, I just want it to be um, the fill is going to stay the same. But I want the text to be slightly different. So maybe make the text a little bit bigger. Okay. So you can play about with this if you want to, but then that gives us a nice little blend here and it just looks like it's obvious that this one's been selected and these ones are not. Now, the f other thing I need to do, you can see it just looks a little bit, I want that to be behind and not in front, just this little bit at the bottom here. So we're going to select this and I am going to take this, ta this bookmark navigator and I want it to go behind the... There's the other one there. Oh, I've hidden it. That's what it is. I want it to go behind these options here. Okay, 
just a subtle difference there, but it just means that this the line here is behind, or the, the, the matrix or the visual is slightly in front of this here rather than slightly behind it. Okay, so just one final test here. I want to make sure that when I flick between these tabs, it respects the filters that I applied. So let's put our safety critical filter on here and we can see the numbers came right down. And if I go to this condition for work, we can see it's sitting at 500 and one for say normal operations. So let's go and click on environmental, it's 300. And if we go back here, you can see the numbers are changing. So let's just make sure this one works as well. Yeah, that's a lot smaller. Okay, so that is working because when we went and set, set these fill, these bookmarks up and we updated the bookmarks, we never ch or unchecked this button here. So whatever the data, of whatever the filters were at the time when we press this update, were not captured as part of the bookmark, just the the visibility of the visualization on the screen, which is exactly what we want. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, it's always appreciated if you could give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, I tend to release one every week, then hit the subscribe button and press the wee bell and you'll get a notification whenever I release a new video. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.